All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with the Monterey Bay Knives. Uh, see Otter here with me for a review. I'm gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this bad boy. But as usual, guys, you know, don't forget to like right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you have something to say about this little fella right over here. But let's go ahead, check the size first. Uh, we got a three inch long blade with a little bit like 2.75 inch long uh, cutting edge and 3.75 inch long handle for an overall length of length of 6.9 inches. Um, let's check it out up against the Spyderco Para 3 and Paramilitary 2. Look at that, you get the idea, this is a tiny knife. In fact, it's pretty comparable uh, to the small Sebenza 21. And up here you get to see the large Sebenza 21. So yeah, I mean, pretty much in the same range of that. I want to show you another couple real quick. Um, Shilogorov Neon Zero and Shilogorov F95 Icebreaker. So this guy is falling uh, under both of these guys. And this is probably my favorite EDC size. Uh, this might uh, feel too big for some, but this kind of feels a little bit too small sometimes. I mean, it's a little bit smaller than a small Sebenza. So uh, the size is, it's all right. It's a pretty cool EDC carry knife and uh, uh, it has a very, very nice look. I mean, look, look, look at these lines. It's, it's pretty clean, right? And also when closed, uh, it's also pleasant to look at. Uh, um, it is uh, made by Monterey Bay Knives. This is the Sea Otter. And uh, it's a very, very cool one. It's a titanium uh, frame lock. Uh, there's no internal skeletonization going on, just some chamfering all around. Uh, not so much internal chamfering going on right over here. 2D milling for these scales. I mean, there's no milling. It's just like a flat surface, kind of like the Sebenza. So that's why it's so uh, similar to that iconic uh, knife. You don't have any uh, backspacer, but just a couple of um, uh, standoffs right over here. And uh, you see that you have like a finger groove for your index finger right there. Very, very nice. Uh, there is no, mm, no lanyard hole option, no lanyard loop. Blade appears to be centered, maybe favoring a little bit show side, but definitely it's safe. I cannot snag the tip of the blade, so that's pretty good. Uh, the screws are T6 and T8, kind of flush, flush, uh, sticking up a little bit, but not 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 a big deal. Super easy disassemble uh, procedure. Uh, you can also check my maintenance video if you are curious to see how this guy is uh, uh, built, uh, how it looks on the inside. Pivot is uh, captive, so you might need to uh, set of screwdriver, but it's pretty straightforward. You don't have any stainless steel lock face insert, but yeah, there's no lock stick, so that looks uh, uh, a good geometry uh, applied to this lock, so that's pretty good. Um, you have a tip-up carry only titanium bent pocket clip. Strong tension, not so attractive aesthetically. I like the functionality, but the, you see, it's a little bit steep, but being wide, it's all right, it's, it's working well. Um, and then you get uh, this pretty cool Magna Cat blade, uh, three inch long, dual thumb studs, absolutely working, uh, jimping, it's very, very effective and has a pretty good bite to it. You have dual thumb studs, nice and polished, uh, a little bit on the sharp side, if you check up close, you see, but they work uh, well, they are pretty grippy. Uh, you have a hollow grind, and that's a very, very thin behind the edge blade. Look at that. Uh, stonewash, magna cut, no crowning, no chamfering here. Just a little bit of flats right there. You get the thumb stud. Uh, on the cutting path on the back you only see MBK logo so pretty sterile looking on the front I really like it pretty much perpendicular plunge grind but it's recessed so it's leaving enough room for the sharpening process the thickness on the blade is going to be 0.134 and the right over here right behind the edge is going to be 0 0.015 so nice and slicey I really like it that's very good a little bit thicker, but uh, 
nice and thin right over here. So good job. Uh, no sharpening choil, uh, sorry, no finger choil, just a sharpening choil right over here. You get uh, uh, some nice uh, uh, continuation here. It's pretty, pretty well done. There's some enough room to disengage the lock bar right over there. Um, also, you get a decent sound, like nothing too crazy, nothing too special. I mean, it's all right. Um, it's not too loud. It's a little bit uh, sharp, but yeah, not too crazy. Um, let's check the weight. This fella is, there's no internal skeletonization. It's going to be a little bit over three ounces. So very reasonable in the pocket, uh, 3.09. So uh, that's very good. Uh, summary, you know, you can toss it in the shorts, it's gonna be fine. Um, there's, uh, the ergonomics are pretty good. There's not, a, I don't see, feel any hot spots right over here. Sharp edges, just like these two corners at the end. They might be digging in your flesh like that, but it's uh, not a big deal so far. Um, and uh, I mean, the uh, jimping is very nice. It's pleasant, it's bitey. The uh, lock bar axis, it's all right. So it's protruding a little bit and it's milled. So yeah, it's it's pleasant. Um, overall, the knife feels absolutely solid. It's a tiny one, dual uh, uh, standoffs right over here. I'm contributing to the solidity and rigidity of the overall structure. So that's very well done, nice and balanced. And I wouldn't do any reverse grip because this thing is a little bit too small for my hands. It's a little bit on the slippery side. It's super smooth. There's no texturing, no milling on the handle so that's just that a little bit of stone wash finish for these titanium handles and that's it um, the uh, construction feels all right I mean pretty solid you have just a little bit maybe of the blade like uh, uh, favoring this side but overall uh, it's well put together but nothing to say there's no like blade play, no lock rock, it feels pretty solid. It's a, it's a very good knife. Um, you have, uh, of course, these guys running on phosphorus bronze washers, I believe, and um, they are not oversized, but the action is very smooth. I mean, there's no uh, drop shot action. You just gotta have to, um, you know, give it a little uh, help to get the blade into the handle, but uh, it's all right. Overall, you can do a nice and slow roll and the glassy smooth feeling is reminiscent again of that, uh, of the Sebenza. Um, you have, uh, uh, the detent on this fella is medium light, so nothing too crazy, but overall, this is a very cool knife. I like it. It's very, um, simple, very minimal, but um, often less is more. And that's why this is a winner in my books. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.